Hi, I'm Robert Vlasich, and I'm here to give you some quick tips to get started with your KST-1000 shot timer by Kestrel Ballistics. You can custom tailor the sensitivity presets in the KST-1000 to accommodate whatever you need to do. Click the enter button on the sensitivity line in the main menu to enter the sensitivity submenu. These settings will be retained for the particular preset that you edit. On the top line, you can flip back and forth between the sensitivity presets. The second line is the sensitivity threshold. For quieter weapons, lower this value, and for louder weapons, raise this value. For example, if you are trying to RO a shooter with a suppressed weapon and you would like to be able to pick up their shots from farther away, you may want to lower the value. If another shooter in your bay has a very loud weapon, you may want to raise the value to try to not pick up their shots. The third line is the echo setting. This sets up a dead time after each detected shot so that the shot timer will not trigger on echoes from your surroundings or the sound of a steel target being hit. 0.11 seconds is a good middle of the road setting, but you can change this value if you need. A word of caution, extremely short echo times may require careful adjustment of the sensitivity value to avoid picking up extraneous sounds. The fourth line is buzzer mute. For most situations, this can be left off, but for extremely quiet weapons, the buzzer may be louder than the gunshot, so it is necessary for the KST-1000 to selectively mute during the buzzer. This means that it will not detect gunshots that happen concurrently with the start beep, which is defaulted to 300 milliseconds. While scrolling through this setting, there are also plus values. These are essentially echo values for the buzzer mute. The fifth line is par buzz. For some situations, you may want the par buzz to be quieter than the start buzz. Change the setting to quiet while your main menu buzzer volume is high if you want this behavior. Otherwise, if the setting is left on normal, the par buzz loudness will mirror the setting in the main menu. The sixth line is the selectable filter. In most cases, this should be left in the off setting. If turned on, this will provide some frequency selectivity. This will necessitate testing and adjustment of the sensitivity value. The seventh line allows you to reset all settings in this menu to defaults. It will not make changes to any other presets. If you have any more questions, please visit KestrelBallistics.com for additional resources.